coffee and cigarettes, definitely not how I would start my morning. And it's not the most appetizing name for a cocktail, but on paper, this sounds fantastic. So it's a very, very simple variation on a Rob Roy. So a variation on a Rob Roy, it's essentially a smoky coffee variation on a Rob Roy. Um, not overly smoky, not overly peaty, uh, given that we're using the, the Bowmore, which is Bowmore, Bowmore, however you want to pronounce it. Probably the, the lesser intense peaty uh, or smoky whiskies from the, the Isla region or the Isla Island, I should say. Um, the original does call for Cool, uh, cool Isla, Cool Isla, I believe it's pronounced, uh, which is the 12 year old um, Isla whiskey. But this is probably one of the closest whiskies that are comparable. I couldn't get the other one. So therefore, this will have to do. The name Coffee and Cigarettes, I'm sure they could have come up with more appetizing and a better name. So what do you guys think? I'm using an Isla whiskey, something a little bit smoky, coffee liqueur, uh, Capano, Antica formula, sweet vermouth, and Jocolat or bitters. I don't know. Sure we could come up with a better name. Uh, this was featured in uh, Death & Co, the cocktail book. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well so you can check it out. It's a fantastic book. Even just after I've slayed their cocktail name. <laughs> and thank you to Tom S for using the Buy the Back Bar feature to purchase the Bowmore for my bar. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, 12 mil, 12, 12 mil. 60 mil, two ounces. Where did that number come from? Ah, there we go. <laughs> I've done a few cocktail videos beforehand. Um, a few cocktails there. And then we have 15 mil, half an ounce of Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. It's a bit of a, uh, a cocktail challenge going on at the moment. You should check it out. Links in the description. And then a bar spoon. <laughs> Five mil, roughly, of sweet vermouth. So as I said before, this is a variation on the Rob Roy. I actually very recently did a video about creating your own signature cocktail. And essentially this is using that technique of mixing and matching, uh, utilizing an, or picking an existing cocktail, i.e. the Rob Roy, and then substituting an ingredient. And, as simple as that, you've got an original cocktail. Jocolatel Mole bitters. Two dashes, plenty of ice, give it a stir. Although it isn't a super peaty whiskey, you can still get a nose of smoke. It's good to go. Into a chilled stemmed cocktail glass. No garnish. Let the cocktail speak for itself. The coffee and cigarettes. Cheers. Ooh, I like that. The, the, co the coffee's up front. And then it just tapers off into like smokiness, but not too much smoke. Not the greatest name, but a very delicious drink. I absolutely love this. Smoke and coffee, or peat and coffee, uh, scotch whiskey, and the sweet. That, that's a winning combination, really simple. Um, you get those, the little tiny hint of um, chocolate, like bitter chocolate coming through. And of course that works perfectly well with smoke. Definitely one to try. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.